another one, it's Eric Johnson from Airte Throws Nation. And in this video, what we're gonna do is a short series on uh, throws terminology. So one of the first things that we, we talk about at our camps and online and um, at our various speaking events is understanding separation. Now, uh, one of the core things to separation is understanding that we're talking about separating the position of the shoulders and the hips. And so if we're talking about even whether it's the glide, we're gonna be separating, we create a little bit of an angle here. We don't wanna to rotate too much, but we wanna get the shoulders back a little bit, and that's gonna help when we set our position. So we're gonna be able to move, and we're gonna be able to land, and we're gonna have that separation. Hips are facing this way, shoulders are facing this way. That's what we refer to as separation. Separation is what creates that torque, and that untorquing is what is gonna allow you to set up into your throw in the discus or the rotational shot. In the shot put, what we have is a, we have hip shoulder separation. The arm is here, we get that kind of separation and that creates a little stretch reflex response and that's gonna move us into our throw. So separating the hips and shoulders is super vital. In the discus, we have two types of separation, which is in my opinion, why I tend to think that the discus is a little longer cycle to uh, hit bigger throws. It's a little more technically complicated because of the two types of separation and how you have to maintain stretch reflex. And we'll talk about stretch reflex in another video. So what we talk about in the discus is shoulders, hips, arm, shoulder. So we have two types of separation and that's what's gonna help us feel so we have to get the shoulders behind the hips and the arm behind the shoulder and you're going to notice when you see that little sling back kind of motion that's my stretch reflex so what we're trying to do is we're always wanting to learn how to set up separation and stretch reflex and how um, that is and where and when that's going to be affected in the throw that's going to be the topic in our next video so if hopefully you found this video helpful if you did please give us a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and uh, check out Airte Throws Nation for free videos and um, more good information. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.